Hello, welcome again to LearnSigns.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about numbers. Numbers. So let's just get right into it. Talk about the numbers, one through ten, uh, pretty easy, and then we'll go on from there. We can we can do the numbers all the way up to 999 on one hand. So here we go. One, two, three. Notice the thumb sticks out to the side. It's not three like this, like you're used to, like you were taught in kindergarten. It's three with your thumb sticking out to the side. Four, five. Now we're going to take our thumb and use it as an indicator to show which number we're talking about. Touch your thumb to your pinky is six, and then seven is your with, with your ring finger, eight, nine, ten. So the thumb is the indicator, and you're going to count up your hand. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, like finger spelling, your palm is going to be out for most of your numbers. However, the next several numbers is going to be palm towards you. So you need to turn your hand around for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're going to flick your 11 and 12 up, and then you're going to wave back at yourself for 13, 14, 15. Now, there's a couple different ways to do 16 through 20. I'm going to show you both of them so that you'll be familiar with it. However, there is one that I prefer, and I'll tell you why. Okay, so we'll do 16. I'm going to do 10, 6, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, the other way to do that, uh, this one was 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, 20. And 20 is your thumb and your index finger. The other way is to rub your 16, your, your pinky finger onto your thumb. That's 16. Your ring finger onto your th thumb, 17, 18, 19, and 20. The reason I prefer to do it 16 like this, the 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, is that it's better when you're at a distance. When you're interpreting for a large crowd, then it's better because you're not, you're not close. In a one-on-one -on -one conversation, this is very clear. But when you're interpreting for a large crowd and there's distance between you and them, then you, you want to be as clear as possible. And this is actually clearer. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, now 21, 21 through 29 are kind of awkward. Uh, so there's a couple different ways uh, to do 21, 21 or 21, either one. And then 22, it's just 2-2. Two, two. Now the rest of these, you're going to do it with your thumb and your index finger off um, in like you're shooting a gun. 23, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to bob it up and down. 23, 24. You can do this a couple times. 24, 24. 25 is 25, 25, but it's shortened to just wiggling your two middle fingers there. 25, 26, 26, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, now 30 through 100 is just simply doing the two numbers together. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and then all the way up to 99, 99, 100, 100. It's 1 and then the letter C for the Roman numeral 100, 200, 300, 400. Now, you'll also sometimes see this shortened to just 100, and you bend that 1 down, 200, 300, 400, that's fine. That, that's not really easy to do with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you do 600. You go ahead and do the very clear letter C. 600, 700, 800, 900. Now, 1,000 uh, is where we take the 1, and then you're going to put down. It's like the letter M for 1,000, uh, except we're, you'll just see it shortened really to just being the B hand bent over. 1,000. 2,000, 3,000. Now, if I wanted to say 
9,862, I could go 9,862. So the number 9,862. And then all the way up to 999,999. And then 1 million. 1 million. It's like 1,000, except 1,000 you just come down once. Million, you're going to bounce it. 1 million bounces forward. 1 million. And then you can build up from there. Uh, but that's that's your numbers right there. Practice those numbers. And just remember that three, the thumb sticks out. Uh, so these are the important numbers, the lower numbers. Three, your thumb sticks out. And then your six, seven, eight, nine, you're using your thumb as the indicator. And you're going to point to the six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is, if you go to uh, LearnSigns.com, this is lesson three. So it's LearnSigns.com slash three. And if I find any resources that will help you with this, uh, maybe some printed material that you can get, I'll put, put a link to that at LearnSigns.com slash three to get to this episode. Thank you for watching, and please tell your friends about the podcast.